Antiarrhythmic agents Before discussing about it, we have to learn about cardiac action potential to understand the mechanism of action of antiarrhythmic agents. First, we will see the action potential of cardiac muscle fiber, also called cardiomyocytes. The resting membrane potential of cardiomyocytes is around minus 90 mV. This resting phase is called phase 4. It is due to the constant efflux of potassium by the inward rectifier potassium channel. When the action potential is triggered by the neighboring cells, there is rapid depolarization to about positive 20 mV. This phase is called phase 0. It is due to the rapid influx of sodium ions through fast sodium channels. Next phase is called initial rapid repolarization, or phase 1. It is due to the efflux of potassium ions by the transient outward potassium channels. Next phase is the plateau phase, also referred to phase 2. In this phase, the calcium influx by the L-type channels are balanced by the efflux of potassium ions by the delayed rectifier potassium channel. Next phase is late rapid repolarization or the phase 3. It is due to the continued efflux of potassium ions from the cardiomyocyte. The cardiomyocyte then remains in its resting phase at minus 90 mV, till it is triggered by the next action potential. Now let's see the action potential of pacemaker cells. The resting membrane potential is about minus 60 mV. There is continuous slow depolarization of pacemaker cells. This phase is called phase 4. It is due to sodium influx by slow sodium channels and calcium influx by T-type calcium channels. When the membrane potential reaches minus 40 mV, there is rapid depolarization up to positive 5 mV. This phase is called phase 0. It is due to calcium influx by L-type calcium channels. Then there is repolarization of the pacemaker cells. This is referred to as phase 3. It is due to the efflux of potassium ions by the voltage-gated potassium channels. After the membrane potential reaches minus 60 mV, due to the continuous slow depolarization of pacemaker cells, another action potential is generated. And the cycle repeats itself. This explains the automaticity of pacemaker cells. It should be noted that there is no phase, 1 and 2, in pacemaker cells. Let's discuss the antiarrhythmic agents in the next video.